ladies and gentlemen without further ado we are back with another one so today i got the update of all updates the drift car is finally coming along it is actually getting work done to it i woke up today super motivated don't know why but let me show you guys what's happening the head is finally off so we were able to get the head off as you can tell i got the brand new gasket on of course the cheap victor rines or whatever that brand is but it's finally on there the head's finally off we can finally get the head done and then maybe get this thing pieced back together so let me show you guys the old head gasket this is this is how we're looking it's a little old a little crusty yeah they also ran the victor because you know my boy victor knows what's up so we got that done and honest to god i have no idea when the last time someone even replaced this was but uh judging by the fact it's probably been a while so you know the thing has 220,000 miles and honestly it doesn't look bad at all and the head didn't look bad at all either there's a lot of carbon buildup. however aside from that it's honestly not bad can't be any more proud of this gotta go to the truck over here don't mind the uh little engine motor thing right here but here is the head for 220,000 miles considering how high these miles are this dude's never missed a goddamn oil change it looks perfect and got everything off finally we can these are all the ones that are snapped so i know you can't tell but there's a few a bunch down here that are snapped off which is the reason why and these obviously these two which is the reason why we had to take this thing off not because we wanted to not because i wanted to but because we had to However, now we can actually get it done, make it perfect, and then we don't ever have to worry about this again. And I'm sure I'll never replace the head gasket until the engine blows and we end up putting a new engine in. So, pretty good on that end. So that is my update of the drift car. And like I said, I can't be any happier. This has just been a crazy week. We got the fender done, which is one of the most important pieces for the hell raw. Then we got the drift car, the head off the drift car, and it's just, it's been a great week. But however, we did end up going to Yukon. I didn't get a lot of footage only because there was so much going on and I'm not really big on recording at car shows because then people just think like, what the hell is he doing? So I figured this is, I'll just kind of make it like a two part video so that it's kind of just going to be a little bit longer than usual. And that way I could add the Yukon video footage that I did take into this video and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So check out the Yukon stuff. Check, obviously you guys see all the drift car and hopefully next we'll put in the seats. But for now... Let's get the head, let's get it going, and yeah. And we are back with another one, ladies and gentlemen. So today it is Yukon Car Show. I'm headed there now. Oh, I gotta shift first. Headed there now. Um, we're gonna go meet up with the crew first, and hopefully it's gonna be a nice little rollout to Yukon. And now everybody can see a hell rod that's color match. So finally, we've got everything on. Put the fender on, put all the corners, the turn signals, all the clear everything on, and super excited to just go be with the boys just watch the car the show starts at nine right now it is eight so we got a little hour go meet up with the boys have a little coffee you know say like cars and coffee you gotta love cars and coffee so then we're gonna go have a little cars and coffee and talk about a little things you know show everybody the new fender baby but yeah so super excited i'll show you guys some of the cars and it's gonna be a great time let's get it look at this look at this what do you think that and then the hell rot oh my oh my that's it now we're ready to roll out Danny, uh, what do you think about your park spot? I think it's VIP. Oh, we gotta ask the legend of the Civic, you know? Yeah, you gotta ask the legend who brought us in here. Yo, facts. If it wasn't for you, dude, listen, we wouldn't be parking here. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty much, and for height comparisons. <laughs> Not bad. Bro, I could hit my head. Not bad. God. Damn. That is a high ass car. Check this thing out. 
almost as clean as mine. This thing is fresh. Look at this thing. Bagged. 100% the next thing I need to do for my. Oh my. This thing is beautiful. Look at this thing. That's awesome. Oh man. I hate BMWs. God. Dead Supra. Come on over there. My boy. All you, brother. All you. And the legend himself. Look at this thing. God, he thinks he's. Yeah, you lost me. <laughs> Because the only one I would say is cleaner is mine. Actually, cleaner than mine. But look at this thing. Dan's M3. Oh, man. Chrome plated. EBS style 5, of course. Man, it's clean. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. You're good. Damn, that thing's clean. <laughs> Hate the Euro. The freaking stock tail lights. Got a Cadillac? You know, see that's a Cadillac over there? <laughs> Daddy, honest opinion on those wheels? Not bad. Uh, <laughs> how's the uh, windows? Not bad. Not bad. Oh man, everybody's rolling out. This paint job right here. This is it. This is the paint job I'm talking about. Fire. That's what color the STI needs to be. Look at this guy's phone case. Legend. Truck, dude. Wheels cost more than my car, literally. Mustang, gotta go. It's gonna kill the crowd. Subaru, of course, trash. More Subarus, trash. <laughs> Hold on. It was hard to tell, but this thing right here, right hand drive. God damn. Clean. Right, these are nice. The new VR. Look at this thing. That's nice. That, see, this, this, this I can get into. That's nice. Nice. Just needs a paint job. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, here comes the legend. The legend. The legend. My oh, man. Oh, so clean. So the show was a great success. There was a lot of cars. However, it is actually just starting to turn into a uh, Subaru and E36 meet. So I wasn't complaining because obviously, you know, your boy's repping the E36. However, it was great just kind of seeing everybody out there and seeing that many people in one place was insane. And I'm pretty sure this is Yukon's biggest turnout because everybody's been waiting for a good car show. And now that kind of they were all able to pop out, it's a great time. So, you know, shout out to everybody that came out, I guess. But um, I hope you guys like kind of the content that was in there. I didn't I, I didn't really know what to record. There was so much going on. But we did get kettle corn, which I can't complain with that. And then there's a bunch of my car in there. And, yeah, a lot of cars. So hopefully, if you do want to go see, just check out YouTube. I'm sure somebody's got a lot better footage than I did. But I just want to show you guys quick snippets. I mean, obviously, this is a quick video anyway. But the E36, the Hell Rot did get a lot of attention, which made me super happy, only because obviously that Fender was the one thing I was waiting for, and there was people taking pictures, which got me super excited, but now we're here, so shout out to them. And um, that was today's freaking vlog, I guess. But as always, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, all the other good stuff, and see you guys on the next one.